busy looking around, not concentrating on the road. Is a something, one thing about this game? You really have to act like you're pay and pay attention like you're driving, and think like you're driving, or else you take your mind off the road or you're driving just for a split second. Next thing you know, you're all over the road, just like that. But if your mindset is just like you're driving, you're able to control the car a lot better. And the steering wheel is made for this game. It's just the right amount of tension. Actually, it's a firm tension to it. It feels really uh, just like a steering wheel. Go to Chile. I can't wait to unlock more cars. Yeah, that car was a little slow, so I think I'll go back to the BMW. That night driving was pretty cool. And look around before we get started. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful. That's the other side. Alright, let's get started. Get the video adjusted. Oh, that's too far. Let's get it further in. There you go. Alright, let's get started. Taking off. I tell you, in this VR, you actually feel like you're inside the car. Everywhere you look is just the interior of the car and their details is just amazing. Um, I know and no one can tell by watching a flat screen TV that uh, you're immersed in this virtual reality. I want to go back to India, do that nighttime driving again. That, that, I like that, that was pretty cool. This uh, steering wheel, gas pedal and brakes are very realistic. It feels just like a car. Oh, going off the road, all right. See, um, trying to talk and drive at the same time is not working. You forget how fast you're going. Even though it's virtual reality, you got to keep an eye on your speed. Nice landscaping. They have all the details in the game. Graphically, it's excellent, but... Unfortunately, the VR screen has uh, that uh, screen door effect, which makes the video quality quality look like uh, pre HD era. But the virtual reality itself, the uh, surroundings the virtual reality envelops you and you really feel like you're there 
This is, uh... I forgot how fun this game is. This is by far the best driving game. Only if you couple it with this steering wheel. The PlayStation steering wheel. It has a mode for it to be compatible with PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. I'm, I don't think it'll work with the PlayStation 5. I'm not sure because it just doesn't have that switch where you can switch between the consoles. Oh, oh right into the guardrail. Well, it's a very forgiving game. I probably have it on very easy s setting. Um... not quite sure about the damage modeling I'm not sure if uh, my car shows damage or not but it's okay I'm not playing this game to be uh, that realistic about it I just love the feeling of being in on the road in the car driving like this and this virtual reality really gives you that feeling I mean you can literally look at the other driver as you pass by him So let's uh, go back to India. I like that nighttime driving. And do that one more time. I hope it's nighttime driving. That was a lot of fun. I think I'll do it in the BMW. Go to India. Uh, let me see. I think this was it. Cloud cover clear, and um, I think I'm gonna do time of day. Okay, midnight, clear night. Yep. Oh, there's my car. Ooh, that's a beautiful looking car. All right, let's do this. Yeah, I, li I like this nighttime driving. It's pretty cool. It gives you the feeling that you're really driving at night. Look around, see the surroundings. Hop in the car. Look around the car. Look up, skylight, moonroof. You can't see the back seat because it's dark. But, um, all right, let's get started. You got the GPS right there. Gives you a heads up on the road up ahead. I'm not trying to, I'm not playing this game to win. I'm just trying to show everybody the gameplay and talk and drive and stay on the road not crash so if you don't see me win any of these games that I play it's not it's not to win or anything it's just to demonstrate the game see I just looked away for a second and right there I almost lost control of the car you really have to stay focused It's amazing how close to real driving this is. The only thing that's missing is the vibration in the road. And I'm kind of glad that there is no feedback or uh, vibration on the steering wheel. Uh, some of, a lot of the uh, other steering wheels that do that feel so fake when they do it. This is, uh, there's no vibration or feedback on the steering wheel, but it is smooth, it is smooth steering. But it has a lot of resistance to make you feel like you're steer a steering a real car. Huh. See, I, I'm, I'm doing a lot of talking and uh, not uh, concentrating on the driving. And that's where I messed up back there. 
But I guarantee if I was to keep quiet and concentrate, I'd drive a little better. And that's true with real driving. When you're traveling at high speeds on curvy roads and your attention is not completely focused on driving, you can, in a split second, run right off the road, especially at high speeds. So, oop. You good? looking off to the side to just to show you that any, at any time you could take your eyes off the road and look around and that's the uh, beauty of virtual reality uh, but at the same time you do that you lose control of the car because you're not concentrating oh slide the physics may not to be completely Oh, that hurt. That that actually felt like I did rear in something. Uh, although there is no uh, real impact or vibration, just the visual effect that you experience in virtual reality, sometimes your mind kind of tricks you into thinking that, yeah, you just hit something and you can, you could almost feel it. If you haven't tried virtual reality, um, strongly recommend doing something like this. It's a pretty decent experience. I would never play a driving game without this setup for sure. Never play a driving game on a flat screen TV if I can help it. This is the only way to play a driving game. Seriously. It is awesome. Hey, thanks for watching.